Hi, this is Scott Fresner, developer of TSEPs and Fast Films. I like to run one of the simulated process color routines called Run Simulated Five Color Plus Two Whites. This will be one of the main routines you run. Now, I know that that is seven colors, and many of you only have a six color press. But remember, on a black shirt, we don't print black ink, so that this will generate a black file or a black plate, but we won't print it, so that's six colors. On a light shirt, you don't print two whites. This will generate an underbase white and a highlight white. And so this will end up being a six-color design, but it will run seven films. And if you were to burn seven screens, you have a job that will work on light and dark shirts just by swapping out the highlight white and the black screen. Let's click on Run Simulated Five Color Plus Two Whites. Now, the program, as always, prompts you, and of course, it tells you what to do, and make sure you don't blow by these menus. Once you get proficient with the program, you'll blow by these, but for right now, read the menus thoroughly, and it tells you that you're going to load the masked or the black canvas version first, load the unmasked version second. Let's run this on a simple design first. Let's run this rattlesnake version. We're going to load the masked version first. and the unmasked version second and the program's cooking it's actually going through about 500 things that are based on my years of experience it's doing so much stuff behind the scenes now it's done separating this is the original file which was RGB and flattened and so this is the original RGB here's the separations there is the underbase for a dark shirt which doesn't look like much it looks a little weak but you'll come back and see that this is deceiving and don't let your eyes fool you there is the separation for yellow separation for scarlet red separation for dark blue not a lot here so maybe we can delete that channel separation for light blue a little bit but not a lot separation for highlight white and the black separation let's see what it looks like on a black shirt the default shirt color is black and we can change that but for now we'll look at it on a black shirt when you put the eye on the channel it shows the channel when you put the eye on multiple channels it shows the channel in the color we've assigned white to this so that's actually a good looking print and frankly in this process if it looks good now you might be home free these designs look fantastic as black and white images and so you could actually take the color off a lot of the great looking simulated process color and they'll look great as a black and white so if it looks good now you're really in good shape let's look at the lemon yellow scarlet red dark blue light blue highlight white now we know there's not much light blue so at this point we can make that immediate judgment call and we can delete this channel we have just now made this a five color print one two three four five colors now it looks good and I could live with this but I'm gonna play around a little bit I'm gonna click on the scarlet channel I'm gonna to go to tone curve image adjustments curves and I might just see what happens if I boost the scarlet channel I'm gonna to go to extreme that's too much but that's boosted now in the tone curve we can do a preview. I, I can barely fit it because of the screen capture program, but if we uncheck preview, we can see without my boost, with my boost, without the boost, with the boost. We'll say okay. I might go ahead and just click on the lemon channel, go to image, adjustments, curves, and do the same thing. Let's just pop that a little bit. A little too yellow, but much richer looking. Now, believe it or not, there actually was some light blue. This is what you do with every design. You run the separation and you do some quick judgments calls. There's actually some light blue, and the blue is the highlight. Take a look and see where the blue is. The blue is all through here. Let's pop the blue a little bit. Image, adjustments, curves. Pop that blue a little bit. And that is how easy it is to separate a simulated process five color plus two whites now let's make a change in the shirt color double click on shirt color click on the colors tab that brings up color picker let's put it on maybe a brownish shirt to see what it looks like okay now I've got to print the black plate but probably not the highlight to save colors it's now one two three four five I would probably print the highlight if I want to make it look as good as I can I think it's a great looking print Let's change the shirt color to white. 
Now, on the white shirt, the black may be a little weak. This is a common issue because black will give you the most dot gain, and so we try and kind of split hairs when we determine what dot gain to display an image with, but we know you're going to get more dot gain at press on the black than with the rest of your colors. So we display it a little weaker, knowing it's going to fix itself when you go to, when you go to screen print this. But just to make you feel good about it, we can go to Image, Adjustments, Curves, and we can pop that black a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Keeping in mind, at press, you may get a little more dot gain than this, and it may look a little darker at press. That is a simple design run with the simulated process color routine.